All right, it's uh, Thursday night at the lake, sitting out on the deck, having a beer. Going to be out here most of the weekend. We'll see what happens. Earlier tonight, we were over at Emmett's house, and we had dinner with Emmett. We bought him hamburger and hamburgers and french fries and fried pickles and he was really happy about that that he we didn't at least when i was there he didn't eat any vegetables so don't tell his mom and dad anyway i'll uh keep you posted on what goes on this week how is that pretty good No. Down. I say down. I say Ruby down. Yeah. Say down, Ruby. I say Ruby down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ruby down. So you never know who's going to show up at the doorstep. <laughs> hey, it's X rated. Take that off. Take that off. What? So you, you got to be part of my video blog. What are we well, I have a channel on YouTube where I just my whole life is, you know, I just videotape I stuff. I don't know how to my hair and my nails. And well, you look all right. You look, look pretty fine? good. Yeah, I like your shirt too. Thank you very much. All right, so I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a beer now. My fishing buddy down there on the dock, taking care of, keeping all the fish away from here. Ruby's looking at it, but not doing anything about it. I'm in the shed at the lake, and I just wanted to do a little brief summary of the solar panels that I've put up and the solar energy that I'm using to run my TV set and tools and lights and things out in the in the shed itself. No electricity was brought in. It's all on solar. So there are the uh, solar panels, two 100 watt solar panels that are on the roof of the shed and they are connected to that wire there that comes down and goes into the shed. The first uh, item is uh, the solar panels. And then the solar panels come into the uh, what we call the charge controller, which is right here. It is a 30-watt uh, charge controller. And what this does is it, it regulates the amount of solar power that is put into the batteries because what happens is the, the panels charge the battery, which is sitting right here, and in, to make sure that the battery doesn't get overcharged, this little device here makes sure that it regulates the battery. That extends the battery life and uh, doesn't cause it to have any problems then. That flashing light that you see there on the green, that is uh, telling me that the battery is fully charged. So you connect the bat the uh, the panel to the charge controller then the charge controller is connected to the battery and then from the battery we hook that to the power inverter and the power inverter changes the DC power from the battery to AC so that you can get it to run television sets, uh, lights, power tools, etc. So what I've done is I've taken the output from the power inverter here and run it to this outlet and connected this outlet to all the wires all the wires in the shed itself so you can see that uh, it's feeding the TV set over here and these outlets on the wall and it's also feeding that light up there so uh, pretty self-sufficient uh, my plan is to add more batteries, thus making it more 
uh, powerful and being able to run more things off of the off of the panels plus I want to add a couple of panels too which will really make us uh, self-sufficient out here so that's the uh, video for the week I know there was a lot of nerdy stuff on there about my solar panels but uh, that's kind of a fun little thing to be dealing with uh, hopefully next week I'll have things that are a little bit more exciting maybe uh, do a little something about my beehives and what's going on there they're not uh, doing as well as in the past so we'll have to see uh, I don't think we're gonna get any honey this year so I'll uh, I'll post something next week about the beehives so uh, have a good week and if you want to uh, get notified when I post a video just uh, subscribe and you'll be notified when I uh, when I post a new video take care